Okay guys, uh, today we're we're uh, doing the uh, conductor plate repair on the on the 2003 Mercedes C240 formatic. It's my mom's car. It's only got uh, 100k on it, so about a about 60,000 miles or so. And uh, the car is stuck in limp mode. Uh, so I went and uh, picked up a new conductor plate on eBay. So I should probably clarify. When I first started doing this job, I went on the forums, I talked to some techs, because the car was obviously stuck in limp mode, right? So it was like a 99% unanimous uh, opinion that my conductor plate is gone. Okay, so I went and I ordered one. As I said before, this is the brand new one. Brand new. So I'm super excited to get it over here. Put the sucker in, turn the key, car is still in limp mode. Great. And only that, I went and I got computers. So I got one, put it in, still didn't work because that was the other opinion of, of all the tech gurus and all that stuff. And, and even according to the, to the Mercedes manual, uh, that, was the, that was the next step too. So I changed the TCM, uh, transmission control module, put it in, plugged my special computer in that I actually bought, that everybody says is the one that you need for this uh, job. Oh, we can see it, Creator 7 Plus. So I actually did get that too, uh, because everybody said you need a scanner to be able to go into the transmission control module and reset it and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's not the case, uh, as I found out a little bit later on. So I, I slapped all that, I slapped the computer in, that didn't work. Uh, so I bought another computer, I figured it was a used one, so you know, there's chances that it might be bad. So I got the new one in, put it in, still didn't work. So then I was at a loss because I basically tried everything that, that people said to try and that the tech guys said to try. Uh, uh, I even downloaded a service manual for this and the troubleshooting steps, you know, I kind of followed those two. And with the code that I had, voltage uh, solenoid supply fault is basically the code. Uh, what that means is, is I, I think it's 702 on the OBD scanner, but. Uh, what that is is uh, so the solenoids are not getting voltage. So, so, so now I've changed the conductor plate. I've changed the the computer, and nothing worked. So what I did is I went to the junkyard. These seven twenty two six transmissions are in anything, basically starting in ninety seven, I think, or something like that, or ninety six. Uh, basically every model, basically that, that that Mercedes makes. So I went to the junkyard and I picked out a. a, a, a Took apart a transmission out of a ML320, I think it was a 2000 or a 99 or something like that. And I, and I grabbed the conductor plate off of that, I grabbed all the solenoids, and I put it into the vehicle the way it was. I wasn't, I didn't use any of the parts that actually came in here, I just, I just, I, uh, well I, I reused the valve body, but the conductor plate, the solenoids and, and everything, I, I put in the way it came out of the ML. And lo and behold, I, I go into the car, even before I put the oil panel on, I plugged everything in, go in the car, and, and the car is out of limp. And the way I was able to tell that it's out of limp, uh, limp mode, is you turn the key, and there's a little button that's winter or sport or whatever on the side. When you press it, you, it actually works. When the car is in limp, that button doesn't work. So, oh, lo and behold, so I put everything back together, take it for a rip, and the car is driving just fine after 30 days of <laughs> screwing with this. I should also mention that uh, if the conductor plate or whatever issue you're resolving in the transmission, whatever issue is resolved and you put the transmission together, so if you put the conductor plate in or you, you do something else and you put it all back together and you turn that key, there's no need to reprogram, redo anything. This is, this is false. The 7226 transmission doesn't need any programming. The conductor plate doesn't have anything. Uh, any uh, electronics in it, uh, aside from the from the circuit board itself that connects to all the solenoids. So there's no programming required. 
Uh, you don't need a big scanner to go and clear the codes first before the car is out of limp. That's that's uh, incorrect. We tested all these solenoids, and they they all tested properly with the ohmmeter, but one of them was faulty. Hence, I ended up with the with the issue. Okay, so when you're doing this job without a hoist, it's quite awkward. So I've already removed the oil pan. To remove the oil pan, you get six T30 bolts with these uh, with these caps on, or these little brackets on them. So we move those. Uh, obviously, it doesn't matter how hard you try, you can't do this without spilling some oil. Um, so obviously, first you you want to drain the oil through the through the uh, oil oil drain, and then plug that back up and remove the oil pan very carefully because there's still oil left in there. As you can see, I uh, I got it all over the, the floor here. But the biggest thing, so this is your this is your this is your valve body here, and the conductor plate is sitting on top of the valve body. The biggest issue, this valve body is extremely heavy. So when you're doing this job on your own, what you want to do first is you want to undo this uh, the plug, the electronics plug. So you want to undo the, the actual plug which is hanging here and then you want to take the socket out because if you don't take the socket out you're gonna have a hard time once you undo all these bolts to wiggle this thing out I found that this is the second time I've been taking this apart so I found that out the hard way and it, it just plays havoc on your arms trying to get this thing out without damaging it so the plug is here or the, the socket is here so to remove the socket it's got two o-rings on it uh, and that's kind of pressed in there and then there's a seven millimeter bolt right in the middle so you want to undo this bolt first with a seven mil deep socket and then you pull this 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 thing straight out it, it just comes straight out you gotta wiggle a little bit there's there's a couple o-rings on here uh, wiggle that out and once that's free once that's out, you should have a much easier time removing this uh, this valve body 